at the um, a very private museum which was closed down and there are artifacts still here um, the public obviously doesn't get to see this this was a private museum the artifacts are still here apparently there are mummies in another room elongated skull here uh, with evidence of trepanation. Again, folks, there is no sagittal suture anywhere on the skull that we can see. And the, the telling trait is look at where the foramen magnum is. And I want you to see this is the occipital plate here. This is the foramen magnum. That foramen magnum, I'm holding it level, is as far back toward the occipital plate as it possibly can be. So again, the morphology, the construction of the skull is different than a normal human skull. And, and, and we need to address this. And so far, no one um, has really done a study on this with the exception of one of our archaeologists on our team, Rick Woodward, who's done a stellar job. And Rick, I know I'll be showing this to you momentarily, and uh, I'm sure you'll weigh in on it. So we've got the morphology of the construction of this is, is not human. Um, you can see that in order to, for this skull to be balanced, it would more than likely, at least this is our, we are, we're positing that a much longer neck would be needed. Our archaeologist Mondo Gonzalez is also on the site. Mondo, your thoughts on this? Well, what I think what would be interesting is to get the other one you got it. and get the, the normal one, which is sitting back there, and seeing the difference. Like you said, this is something that we've been watching and researching on all the skulls that we've been extracting from. And notice the foramen magnum mm -hmm. on this skull also is pushed all the way back towards the occipital plate. This is a genetic trait that is only found, that we've only found in the Paracas skulls. It is not human, in our opinion. Or if it is human, it's certainly um, a different branch than, than Homo sapiens sapiens. Mm -hmm. Show, so let's show where the foramen magnum is. That's elongated, but look where the foramen magnum is. Yeah. So here's, here's the difference, so you can see it for yourself, folks. Here's the foramen magnum of the elongated skull that I got in my hand, and here's the foramen magnum of probably um, a normal human skull. Notice that it's centered and balanced. Notice this one is all the way pushed back to the occipital plate. The morphology of the Paracas skulls are different. This is unbelievable. That's from Chongos, guys, the one who's going to take it out. Look at that. It looks shellac. That's yeah, like the Oregon skull. No problem, I guess. No, it's covered in shellac. Yeah. Brian, your thoughts on this? Well, this one has been, um, it's got its code from the Ministry of Culture, so it's, it's registered. <coughs> it's a classic uh, Chongo's elongated skull. So as you pointed out, the form and magnum is as far back in the skull as it is. If it goes back any further, it's outside the yeah, skull. Yeah, it doesn't exist. So that's a genetic anomaly. Wow in order to compensate for the design of the head because it would naturally want to move backwards. So the form of magnum by nature was, is part of the genetics moving backwards so that it can stand erect. So this is a good candidate for, for a, a real, for somebody, somebody was born likely with the skull. Um, also this bulge, this protuberance is the classic um, is a classic characteristic of those that we believe were born with an elongated skull. It does have sagittal suture, sagittal suture so this is likely a descendant of the originals. This is the beginning of the transition because the Paracas couldn't inbreed constantly because there would be genetic problems, so they did have to breed with normal people. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that the shape of the skull over generations began to shrink. 
And so that's when cranial deformation began, it was in order to make sure that these people physically look different. Notice the very robust zygomatic arch here. Um, that's true. Yeah. And, and just flip it over so we can see the foramen magnum again, please. And notice, notice where this is. This is the, the occipital plate here, and the foramen magnum is pushed all the way over. And Manuel Gonzalez, this is a normal human skull. Notice the difference in the placement of the foramen magnum. The morphology of the skulls are different, and that's genetic, yeah. in our opinion. Brian Forrester, Mondo Gonzalez, and Ellie Marzulli from an undisclosed location somewhere near the Chongos Necropolis. There's a subject that most people regard as fringe. Yet the people in this film have seen something. I've seen a UFO. And I've seen a UFO. And I saw a UFO. And I saw a UFO. And I've seen a UFO. A, a UFO. People from all walks of life have come on the record in their own words, and their testimony is true. Join me as we explore the folks who have had encounters in their own words. Coming this March, 2017.